darkness is going to come to parts of the United States during the day as the moon blacks out the sun for the 2017 solar eclipse. We've escaped the city lights to come to somewhere where there's just nothing but cornfields and lots of open space. So there's no interruption when darkness comes across the Midwest. So come on, let's go check out the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse has brought lots of business to Nebraska as people have come from out of state just to see this once in a lifetime experience. But you guys in New Zealand aren't going to miss out. The next eclipse which will cover parts of the lower South Island is scheduled for July 22nd, 2028. But if you miss out or you're stuck in the North Island, places from Hawke's Bay across to Waikato will see the eclipse on July 13th, 2037. And if you miss that, come back a year later on December the 26th and there'll be one in the lower, south, in the lower North Island. So let me tell you a bit about the eclipse. What happens is the moon gets in front of the sun, causing darkness across parts of Earth. Now the sun is 100 times larger than Earth, but 400 times larger than the moon. And when the moon is 400 times the distance from the sun than it is from Earth, it completely blacks out the sun for a portion of time that creates darkness. And here in Dorchester, it's going to create about 3 minutes of total darkness around 1 o'clock. Chairs were unfolded and placed on the lawn as folks took their seats. They wrapped on their solar eclipse safe glasses to watch the once in a lifetime event. Inside, people were watching TV to see the live coverage of the eclipse as it made its way across the country from Oregon down to South Carolina. When totality finally arrived, it got dark and eerily cool as the solar lights flicked on. And the birds are starting. I kind of thought I would hear owls. I I, I'm getting goosebumps. Is this much of the sun's exposed, and it's back to daylight? Yeah. <laughs> like, like if there was just a, if there was just an eclipse, you wouldn't even know it. Yeah. Like if you weren't in full, full, full eclipse. You know? So the folks are only in 89 percent or whatever. Yeah. They would. They would have no idea. So cool. So happy we got to see Very the cool. diamond ring effect thing. Dang, it was so neat. Very nice. Once in a lifetime thing. So it was very cool for a cloudy day here. Reporting on the eclipse from Dorchester, Nebraska, I'm Lyle Russell.